Today's workout is the last in a series that mixes strength training exercises and Pilates exercises. Find links to the other workouts in the description. This workout consists of two strength supersets, one Pilates balance series and one Pilates core series. Let's warm up. Take a step forward with your right leg and extend the opposite arm. Extend the front leg and press the arm back. Lean forward and tuck, extend and press back. Four more times. This exercise stretches the hip flexor and hamstrings. Return to kneeling. Take a step forward with the left leg, extend the opposite arm and lean forward. Extend the front leg and press the arm back. Lean forward and tuck the hip. Extend and press back. Four more times. Return to kneeling and come to all fours. For single leg cat cow, round the spine and draw the right leg towards the chest. Now arch and extend the right leg behind you. Four more times on this side. Lower the right leg to the mat and switch. Round and draw the left leg towards the chest. Arch and extend the left leg. Keep moving. Three more times. Lower the left leg to the mat. Now tuck the toes under, round the spine and hover the knees off the mat. Arch and lower, round and hover. Arch and lower. Three more times. This exercise activates the deeper core muscles and warms up the spine. Now extend the right leg to the side for thread the needle. Rotate to the right and extend the right arm towards the ceiling. Rotate to the left and thread the arm underneath the body. Four more times. Return the right hand to the mat and come up to kneeling. Interlace your hands in front of your chest. Sit back and come up. Sit back and come up. This exercise stretches your adductors. Two more times. Lower your hands to the mat and draw your right leg back to all fours. Now extend the left leg to the side. Rotate to the left and extend the left arm towards the ceiling. Rotate to the right and thread the arm underneath the body. Four more times. This exercise improves mobility of the thoracic spine. Come up to kneeling. Interlace your hands in front of your chest. Now sit back and come back up. Sit
it back and come back up three more times. Draw your left leg in and come to all fours. Walk back into a plank. Lift the right leg up and come into pigeon pose. Keep your torso upright. Stretch your glutes and hips. Return to your plank, lift the left leg up and come into pigeon pose on the other side. Stretch your hips and your glutes. Come back to all fours, tuck your toes under and pike up into down dog. Stretch your hamstrings one last time. Walk your hands back, soften your knees and stay in ragdoll. Release any tension. Slowly roll up and you're ready to get started. For Superset 1, come to the back of your mat with your dumbbells in your hands. Widen your stance to the width of the mat. Squeeze your weights together in the center. Squat down. Make a step forward with the right end pulse. Step forward with the left end pulse. Three more steps forward. Now turn around and make five pulse steps forward in the other direction. Turn around again, five pulse steps each way. Keep your chest proud and squat down as low as you can. One more step forward. Now place one of your weights to the side and the other weight right next to your mat. Come down to the mat. Lie down on your back, legs bent for the marching glute bridge. Grab your medium weight. Place it on your hips and wrap your hands around the sides of the weight. Come into your glute bridge and lift the right leg to tabletop. Lower down, come up, left leg to tabletop. Keep marching. Keep your hips level and your knees in line with your hips. Four more times. Sit up, place your weight to the side, come up to standing and move your weight to the other weight. Let's rest for 20 seconds. We will repeat the superset two more times.
Grab your weights again for the double pulse squat walk. Come to the back of your mat with your dumbbells in your hands. Widen your stance to the width of the mat. Squeeze your weights together in the center. Squat down. Make a step forward with the right end pulse. Step forward with the left end pulse. Three more steps forward. Now turn around and make five pulse steps forward in the other direction. Turn around again, five pulse steps each way. This exercise is a squat variation that targets the glutes, quads, hamstrings and core. One more step forward. Now place one of your weights to the side and the other weight right next to your mat. Come down to the mat. Lie down on your back, legs bent for the marching glute bridge. Grab your medium weight. Place it on your hips and wrap your hands around the sides of the weight. Come into your glute bridge and lift the right leg to tabletop. Lower down, come up, left leg to tabletop. Keep marching. This exercise strengthens the glutes and hamstrings and increases lumbopelvic stability. Four more times. Sit up, place your weight to the side, come up to standing and move your weight to the other weight. Let's rest for 20 seconds. We will repeat the superset one more time. Grab your weights again for the double pulse squat walk. Come to the back of your mat with your dumbbells in your hands. Widen your stance to the width of the mat. Squeeze your weights together in the center. Squat down. Make a step forward with the right end pulse. Step forward with the left end pulse. Three more steps forward. Now turn around and make five pulse steps forward in the other direction. Turn around again, five pulse steps each way. Keep your weight in your heels and keep your torso at 45 degrees. One more step forward. Now place one of your weights to the side and the other weight right next to your mat. Come down to the mat. Lie down on your back, legs bent for the marching glute bridge. Grab your medium weight. Place it on your hips and wrap your hands around the sides of the weight. Come into your glute bridge and lift the right leg to tabletop. Lower down, come up, left leg to tabletop. Keep marching. 
Draw your rib cage in and engage your glutes when you come up. Four more times. Sit up, place your weight to the side, come up to standing, and move your weight to the other weight. Let's rest for 20 seconds. Let's move on to superset two. For superset two, place your chair to the side of your mat and hold both dumbbells in your hands. Stand about two feet away from your chair. Place the left foot on the chair behind you for Bulgarian split squats. Keep your weights right next to your front leg. Now lower down into your split squat and come back up. Lower down, come back up. Keep moving. Your back knee moves close to the chair behind you as you lower, and your torso leans forward slightly. One more time. Return your left foot to the mat. Place your right foot on the chair behind you. Keep your weights next to your front leg. Now lower down into your split squat and come back up. Lower down and come back up. Keep moving. Keep a slight forward lean in the torso and squeeze the glutes when you come back up. Two more times on this side. Return your right foot to the mat. The kickstand RDL is next. Place your left foot slightly behind the right and balance on the ball of the foot. Keep a soft bend in both knees and make sure they're lined up. Line your weights up with your thighs. Hinge at the hips and shift your bottom back. Press your bottom forward and come back up. Lower, press forward and come back up. Keep moving. Your back is flat and your weights stay close to the legs as you lower. Three more times on this side. Now place your right foot slightly behind the left and balance on the ball of the foot. Keep a soft band in both knees and make sure they're lined up. Line your weights up with your thighs. Now lower down and shift back. Come up and press forward. Lower down again. Come up and press. Keep moving. Squeeze your glutes each time you come back up. Four more times. Place your right foot next to your left, lower your weights, and let's rest for 20 seconds. We will repeat this superset two more times. Grab your weights again and stand two feet away from your chair. Place the left foot on the chair behind you for Bulgarian split squats. Keep your weights right next to your front leg. 
Now lower down into your split squat and come back up. Lower down, come back up. Keep moving. This exercise strengthens the quads, hamstrings, and glutes. One more time. Return your left foot to the mat. Place your right foot on the chair behind you. Keep your weights next to your front leg. Now lower down into your split squat and come back up. Lower down and come back up. Keep moving. Two more times on this side. Return your right foot to the mat. The kickstand RDL is next. Place your left foot slightly behind the right and balance on the ball of the foot. Keep a soft bend in both knees and make sure they're lined up. Line your weights up with your thighs. Hinge at the hips and shift your bottom back. Press your bottom forward and come back up. Lower, press forward and come back up. Keep moving. This exercise works the glutes, hamstrings, and erector spinae. Three more times on this side. Now place your right foot slightly behind the left and balance on the ball of the foot. Keep a soft bend in both knees and make sure they're lined up. Line your weights up with your thighs. Now lower down and shift back. Come up and press forward. Lower down again. Come up and press. Keep moving. Keep your chest proud and your shoulders retracted as you lower. Four more times. Place your right foot next to your left, lower your weights, and let's rest for 20 seconds. We will repeat this superset one more time. Grab your weights again and stand two feet away from your chair. Place the left foot on the chair behind you for Bulgarian split squats. Keep your weights right next to your front leg. Now lower down into your split squat and come back up. Lower down, come back up. Keep moving. Your core is forced to work in overdrive to maintain balance. One more time. Return your left foot to the mat. Place your right foot on the chair behind you. Keep your weights next to your front leg. Now lower down into your split squat and come back up. Lower down and come back up. Keep moving. Two more times on this side.
Return your right foot to the mat. The kickstand RDL is next. Place your left foot slightly behind the right and balance on the ball of the foot. Keep a soft bend in both knees and make sure they're lined up. Line your weights up with your thighs. Hinge at the hips and shift your bottom back. Press your bottom forward and come back up. Lower, press forward and come back up. Keep moving. Three more times on this side. Now place your right foot slightly behind the left and balance on the ball of the foot. Keep a soft bend in both knees and make sure they're lined up. Line your weights up with your thighs. Now lower down and shift back. Come up and press forward. Lower down again, come up and press. Keep moving. Only lower as far as you can, keeping a neutral spine. Four more times. Place your right foot next to your left, lower your weights, and let's rest for 20 seconds. The Pilates Balance Series is next. For lateral lunges with knee raises, stand at the center of your mat and interlace your hands in front of your chest. Take a step to the right, hinge at the hip, bend the right knee, straighten both knees. Bend and straighten. Now bend, straighten and balance on the left leg. Step to the right, now balance with the right knee raised. Keep moving. Two more times. Return to center and let's switch. Take a step to the left, bend the left knee, straighten both knees. Shift to the left, straighten. Shift, now balance on the right leg. Step to the left, balance on the right. Keep moving. Keep your core engaged and your hips level as you balance. One last time. Stand hip width distance apart and extend the arms in front of the chest, palms facing each other. Extend the right leg behind you and point through the foot. Hinge the torso forward and reach the right leg behind you. Return to start. Hinge. Return to an upright position. Keep moving. Keep a soft bend in your standing leg. One last time on this side. Extend the arms in front of the chest again and extend the left leg behind you. Point through the foot. Hinge and come up to standing. Hinge again, come up to standing. Keep moving. Keep your pelvis level and your spine in neutral. One last time. Kneel down on the mat for knees to squat. Interlace your hands in front of the chest. Now step forward with the right, step forward with the left. Kneel with the right, kneel with the left. Left forward, right forward, kneel left, kneel right. Keep moving. Stay as low as you can and keep your pace.
come up one last time. Now stand up straight and let's repeat. For lateral lunges with knee raises, stand at the center of your mat and interlace your hands in front of your chest. Take a step to the right, hinge at the hip, bend the right knee, straighten both knees. Bend and straighten. Now bend, straighten and balance on the left leg. Step to the right, now balance with the right knee raised. Keep moving. Two more times. Return to center and let's switch. Take a step to the left, bend the left knee, straighten both knees. Shift to the left, straighten. Shift, now balance on the right leg. Step to the left, balance on the right. Keep moving. This exercise works the quads, abductors, glutes, adductors and hamstrings. Stand hip width distance apart and extend the arms in front of the chest, palms facing each other. Extend the right leg behind you and point through the foot. Hinge the torso forward and reach the right leg behind you. Return to start. Hinge. Return to an upright position. Keep moving. This exercise challenges your balance and improves whole body alignment. One last time on this side. Extend the arms in front of the chest again and extend the left leg behind you. Point through the foot. Hinge and come up to standing. Hinge again, come up to standing. Keep moving. Incorporating balance exercises helps build strength in the lower body. One last time. Kneel down on the mat for knees to squat. Interlace your hands in front of the chest. Now step forward with the right, step forward with the left. Kneel with the right, kneel with the left. Left forward, right forward, kneel left, kneel right. Keep moving. This exercise improves your balance, coordination and stability. Come up one last time. Now stand up straight and let's repeat. For lateral lunges with knee raises, stand at the center of your mat and interlace your hands in front of your chest. Take a step to the right, hinge at the hip, bend the right knee, straighten both knees. Bend and straighten. Now bend, straighten and balance on the left leg. Step to the right, now balance with the right knee raised. Keep moving. Two more times. Return to center and let's switch. Take a step to the left, bend the left knee, straighten both knees. Shift to the left, straighten. Shift, now Balance on the right leg. Step to the left. Balance on the right. Keep moving. One last time. Stand hip width distance apart and extend the arms in front of the chest, palms facing each other. Extend the right leg behind you and point through the foot. 
Hinge the torso forward and reach the right leg behind you. Return to start. Hinge. Return to an upright position. Keep moving. One last time on this side. Extend the arms in front of the chest again and extend the left leg behind you. Point through the foot. Hinge and come up to standing. Hinge again, come up to standing. Keep moving. One last time. Kneel down on the mat for knees to squat. Interlace your hands in front of the chest. Now step forward with the right, step forward with the left. Kneel with the right, kneel with the left. Left forward, right forward, kneel left, kneel right. Keep moving. Keep your hands in front of the chest and your chest proud. Come up one last time. Now stand up straight and let's move on to the core series. For the Pilates core series, we will do two exercises that are repeated three times. Come to all fours and find a neutral spine. For bird dog with abduction, extend the left arm and right leg, open to the side, return and lower. Extend the right arm and left leg, open to the side, return, lower. Keep moving. Keep your body as stable as possible and engage the core. One more time on each side. Turn your body around, lie down on your back, legs bent. Extend the arms to 90 degrees for the teaser. Float your legs up to tabletop. Reach the arms forward, articulate through the spine and balance on your sits bones. Reverse the articulation and return to start. Keep moving. Keep your neck long and your shoulders lowered. One last time. Lower your hands and feet to the mat. Turn your body around and let's repeat. Come to all fours and find a neutral spine. For bird dog with abduction, extend the left arm and right leg, open to the side, return and lower. Extend the right arm and left leg, open to the side, return, lower. Keep moving. This exercise challenges coordination, improves stability and strengthens the core. One more time on each side. Turn your body around, lie down on your back, legs bent. Extend the arms to 90 degrees for the teaser. Float your legs up to tabletop. Reach the arms forward, articulate through the spine and balance on your sits bones. Reverse the articulation and return to start. Keep moving. 
This exercise strengthens the abdominals and improves spinal flexion mobility. One last time. Lower your hands and feet to the mat. Turn your body around and let's repeat. Come to all fours and find a neutral spine. For bird dog with abduction, extend the left arm and right leg, open to the side, return and lower. Extend the right arm and left leg, open to the side, return, lower. Keep moving. Straighten your arm and leg completely as you extend. One more time on each side. Turn your body around, lie down on your back, legs bent. Extend the arms to 90 degrees for the teaser. Float your legs up to tabletop. Reach the arms forward, articulate through the spine and balance on your sits bones. Reverse the articulation and return to start. Keep moving. One last time. Lower your hands and feet to the mat. Let's cool down. Bring your right leg to tabletop and wrap your hands around your chin. Extend the left leg and hug the right leg close to your chest. Stay here and stretch your hip flexor. Bend your left leg and return your right foot to the mat. Bring your left leg to tabletop and wrap your hands around your chin. Extend the right leg and hug the left leg close to your chest. Stretch the hip flexor on the other side. Return your left foot to the mat and bend your right leg. Extend the right leg up, place your right ankle on your left thigh and come into a figure four stretch. Stretch your glutes. Lower your left foot to the mat, extend the right leg up and return the right foot to the mat. Now extend the left leg up, place your left ankle on your right thigh and come into a figure four stretch. Stretch your glutes on the other side. Come out of this position and lower both feet to the mat. Extend your left leg, bring your right leg to tabletop and rotate your hips to the left. Extend your right arm and rotate your head to the right. Stretch your low back.
Return to center and bend both legs. Now extend your right leg, bring your left leg to tabletop, rotate your hips to the right, extend your left arm and rotate your head to the left. Stretch your low back on the other side. Return to center and bend both legs. Turn your body around and come to all fours. Tuck your toes under and pike up into down dog. Stretch your back and your hamstrings. Walk your hands back and stay in ragdoll one last time. Slowly roll up. You completed level 3. If you did the entire series, you worked on your strength, balance, posture and core strength. See you next time.